Welcome back to GB News Live. Now, of course, we've been uh, discussing this issue of the Chinese spy balloons uh, and indeed uh, the investigation going on now with the uh, debris recovered from that Chinese balloon. Uh, just to remind you what they said in the States, General Van Herck uh, from the um, U.S. Air Force saying whether he'd ruled out possibility of uh, extraterrestrials. I haven't ruled out anything at this point. But then the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, saying, um, I know there's been questions and concerns about this, but there is no, again, no indications of aliens or extraterrestrial activity. However, a small village in Derbyshire uh, has the deepest reputation of being a UFO hotspot, would you believe? Claims of around 20 potentially alien craft uh, over the years. Our national reporter Paul Hawkins uh, joins us now. Um, Paul, have you been looking skywards? Yeah, looking skywards and uh, looking around the village as well. And uh, uh, to be honest, this village Bonsall in the Derbyshire Dales, it's known for being one of Britain's UFO hotspots and probably the most famous sighting was around 20 years ago. Uh, a lady called Sharon Rowlands, who we can speak to now. In fact, we're in her back garden. This is the view that she has looked out on. 20 years ago and since then, Sharon, it's a fantastic view, but 20 years ago, you'd just been given a new camcorder, right? You decided to test it out. Tell us what you saw just over that ridge behind you. Well, we'd been watching um, something in the sky for 10 minutes with the naked eye, and um, I decided to pick the video up, lean on the kitchen doorway and film it over that area. Yeah. And as soon as put the video on, we saw a disc with lots of coloured lights around it and while it was being watched with the naked eye it didn't move yeah. as soon as I put the video recorder on it it seemed to it hold started in to on come us. towards it where started, we're standing right yeah, now absolutely yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it getting bigger as it was coming closer but it kept going from a disc shape hmm. and then going flat when it moving yeah and then back up to a disc and you were saying it was you think it was about the size of a house i did yes yeah um, a, making a big no house, noise no no sound whatsoever yeah um the lights just going going round it bright bright lights really bright lights yeah um how did you feel when it moved towards you frightening it felt nerving as if it was watching us yeah. instead of us watching that yeah um at one stage we do think it's going to land in the corner it come in so close yeah and that was really quite scary yeah yes and then it just went like that it came it was on a disc and then it like came yeah. over yeah and then it looked like two engines or whatever it was pulsing it pulsed and yeah. then just went tum, disappeared yeah, that's it yeah blinked out and to be clear um nasa themselves looked at it yeah and they couldn't tell you what it was no no, they, they could tell us what it wasn't, but they couldn't tell us what it was. They said it wasn't a, an air, a commercial aircraft, it wasn't military aircraft, it wasn't a hot air balloon, it wasn't a weather balloon. Yeah. What they did say was that it was made of metallic. And that was it. That, that was, was it. it. Yeah, and, and the, one of the first things you said to me when I, when I said hello to you this morning was, I'm not crackers. Yeah, I don't normally talk about it because no. people think you're bonkers. Yeah, and you're not, you're not someone who's looking out for the paranormal and the oh, supernatural. God, no, and no, definitely. This is just something you saw in your garden. Yeah. You've seen nothing yeah. since. And, yeah, no. And that's it, yeah. No, I videoed it, left it on the kitchen table. It wasn't until the following week when the local rag came out and there on the front someone had took a still yeah. on big yeah. report about it. And I went, that's what we videoed. Yeah, and it's, and it's still it's on a disc that you have kept safe in a vault in Nottingham and no one's allowed to see it? No. No. Well, appreciate you speaking to us about it. That's all right. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Really appreciate it. Uh, Sharon uh, Rowland's there, who uh, saw something that uh, you're saying it's, it's definitely not aliens. You don't know. You don't I know don't what know. it is. I don't believe in aliens, but what, what it is is an unidentified flying object, as the UFO stands for. I'm not saying the little green men or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. We don't know. No, yeah. I saw something. I can't tell you what it is. There you go. That's what Sharon says. So there, that gives you an idea. That's the most famous sighting here. But I do know, having spoken to the landlady of the pub in the village, she knows farmers that have seen things, mirages coming over the field that have enveloped them and all sorts of things around here. And to be honest, Bonsall has got a little bit of a reputation for it.